tutorial I am going to discuss on what is called abdominal tuberculosis. So, what are the clinical signs of abdominal tuberculosis? The clinical signs or symptoms of tuberculosis, abdominal tuberculosis are abdominal pain, loss of weight, anorexia, recurring diarrhea, low grade fever, cough and distension of the abdomen. But what are the sonographic findings or features that you would find in patients with abdominal tuberculosis? This can be retroperitoneal and mesenteric lymphadenopath or lymph nodes with node diameter that can be greater than 0.5 with multiple splenic hypoechoic nodules between 0.5 cm and 1 cm and you can actually see patterns of ascites. I hope you are well, my name is Mr. El Chitumba. So I have got this case presentation that I scanned at our radiology department. So what you are seeing here is our dodenum with positive peristalsis and this is the left lobe of the liver. Coming to here, you can actually see here we have got bowel gas that is presenting with an artifact that we call the reverberation artifact. So the demerits of not preparing a patient so well is you are going to have obscuring of the bowel by this gas which is called reverberation artifact. So the patient needs to be pre prepared prior to abdominal ultrasound scan. So what we are seeing here is, the, is our nice peristalsis. So you can see this positive bowel movement. So you have to look around the, the, the bowel in the mesenteric space to see if you can actually identify any nodes that will be presenting. So in this case, I can see there is nice peristalsis. A little bit of some nodes that are coming here. So playing it again, there's a little bit of nodes here which are not so clear. So coming again here, you can actually see our peristalsis, a node there, positive peristalsis. So there's no compromisation of bowel movement. But doing this way, you can actually now see here what is presenting here. These are lymph nodes. So you can see nodes here, you can see nodes there, you can see the iota is pulsating somewhere here and you can see the nodes there. Doing it this way again, you can actually see the nodes there, the nodes that we have here, the nodes that we have. But we are not seeing obvious ascites in the peritoneal space. Coming here again, so this is the transverse section. In the transverse section, you can actually see that the iota is pulsating and you can actually see the nodes which are here, the nodes here. So these nodes that you find around the iota are called para-iotic leaf nodes. So this patient is presenting with para-iotic lymphadenopath or lymph nodes on ultrasound scan. You see the nodes there. So at times you can actually see uh, these nodes in the mesenteric space. So in the mesenteric space they can actually form from conglomerates. So it is very prudent when you're doing an ultrasound scan to make sure that you don't miss out on these leaf nodes because they can actually give an indicator of a major diagnosis like abdominal tuberculosis that can actually be presenting. So don't forget to prepare the patient so that bowel gas can obscure so that you don't see the subtle lymph nodes that we can have. So once again, you can actually see the para-iotic lymph nodes there. So when you see the mesenteric or peritoneal lymph nodes, you can actually start to suspect abdominal tuberculosis. However, it's not only TB that can cause abdominal tuberculosis. There are other causes like HIV and infection on its own. It can actually cause even when someone is having um, malignancy, it can actually present with those abdominal lymph nodes. So the journey of diagnosis, it comes with so many tests. So the first thrust or the first point is for you to identify if they are lymph nodes or not. Those that can actually be a prompt to further test that can actually find the presenting problem of the patient.
i thank you all for watching our videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also share our via our comment section if you have got anything thank you so much i hope you are blessed wherever you are around the world thank you so much